What's up Astro Safari enthusiasts? Today we're gonna test these sensors using a simple scan tool. This video is made for people that know nothing about sensors, especially diagnosis. We're basically going to check whether they are working or not, and if they are within their specified parameters. The scan tool is the Altel AL329, costs $35. Once again, I'm only showing a basic reading of these sensors using a simple scan tool. Can you identify these sensors? If you can, then you're probably too advanced for this video. The sensors are mass airflow, manifold absolute pressure, throttle position sensor, intake air temperature, crankshaft position sensor, and engine coolant temperature. First, on a cold engine, key on, engine off, we're going to take a look at the IAT and ECT readings. Our ambient temperature is at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, it's summertime in California. Our ECT is at 80 degrees F, and our IAT is at 100 degrees F. We're gonna move on to the throttle position sensor. The throttle is opened at 0% and I'm slowly depressing the gas pedal all the way to wide open throttle. And that number should increase to 100%. I'm at wide open throttle 100%. Now we're slowly gonna let go of the gas pedal. And the sensor seems to be operating properly. Now start the vehicle and get the engine to operating temperature. The engine is at operating temperature and idling. The operating temperature specification is between 195F and 222F. We seem to be running a bit cool. The thermostat is ready to open at 188F. We move on down to our map sensor. That number should increase when I snap the throttle. That sensor is operating. Our RPM specification is 600 at idle. 600 RPMs at idle. So our crankshaft position sensor is operating properly. And if the crankshaft failed, the vehicle wouldn't even start. IAT has gone up to 132, wow. Last but not least is the mass airflow sensor. The specification is 5 to 7 grams per second at idle. I'm going to change the readings to metric because 5 to 7 grams per second converts to between 0.011 and 0.015 pounds per second in our system. We would then look for a reading between 0.01 and 0.01 on the live data. I changed the settings to metric and we are getting a reading of 4.6 grams per second at idle. The BAF is reading below specification. I tried the GM tap test to see if the readings changed. They did not. For the GM tap test, you lightly tap the MAF connector and see if the readings change. And that's it. Simple, right? All six sensors seem to be operating properly. I learned that the van is a bit overcooled and the math sensor is reading below specification. From here, I'll take the appropriate steps to further diagnose those issues. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.